Hello friends, family, and internet strangers, Stephanie here, and it is the first Friday of the month, which means it's time for another collab hosted by Tiffany over at Small Town 6. As always, I will have her channel as well as the playlist with all of the videos linked down below in the description box. This month, the theme is carbs, and when I hear carbs, I think bread. So today, we're making garbage bread. First things first, I want to know, do y'all make garbage bread or something similar to this? Have you even heard the term garbage bread? Because sometimes I say it and people give me funny looks, but I swear this is delicious. There is nothing garbage about it, but that's what we called it when I was growing up. So this is kind of similar to a stromboli or a calzone type thing, but more bready than a calzone. First thing I'm going to do is let my pizza dough rise a little bit. I did not hand make this pizza dough, even though I bought it at a store. I still grew up watching my dad put this in with some oil and a towel over the top of it and letting it rise all day. I only let mine rise for two hours, so it didn't get massive, but that was okay. It didn't really need to. So once I've let that sit for a while, I did at least let it come to room temperature. I'm just going to roll this out, although I don't have a rolling pin. So I am just working it with my fingers, pushing it out slowly to the edges of my cutting boards so that I can start to assemble this. Now you could use store-bought pizza dough. You could make your own. I am using store-bought, but not from a grocery store. I am using pizza dough from an Italian deli in my area. That is how we always had it when I was growing up. We would get everything that we needed from the Italian deli slash grocery store that was down the street from us. And now where I live, I also have an Italian deli really close to me. So if you don't have an Italian market of any sort, try your favorite pizza place because most pizza places will sell their dough on their own. And for me, this was cheaper than getting it at the grocery store. It only cost $3 for this fresh pizza dough that was absolutely delicious. So definitely recommend checking that out. Also, since I like doing Capicol on this, I can never find that at the grocery store. I have to get it from the Italian deli in my area. So I am using sandwich sliced Capicol and pepperoni and provolone on this, but you could also use it chopped up. When I was little, my dad would always dice everything up. He would get really thick slices of the pepperoni and thick slices of capicol dice it all up dice up the thick slices of provolone and then toss it with an egg and italian seasoning and then spread it out over the dough that's a lot of work though and here where i live even though it is now september we are heating up it has been over 100 degrees the past few days and when i get home from work this is about all the energy that is left is what it took to do this so dicing was not really an option but at some point in the future I may do a video where I try it that way because I haven't had it that diced up way in quite a while now my mom always gets on my case if I give my dad credit for things and not her but most of the time it's because he was the one who cooked in my household so even though something might have been her idea he's the one i remember actually doing it but i do think if i remember correctly that she's the one who started using the sandwich slices instead of dicing it so hopefully that's correct but if it's not at least i gave her credit for something you know you don't always have the best memory i have a decent memory but you know some things get mixed up in there so this is how I'm doing it this is an easy way but again this is totally customizable so you can put whatever meats in here you want I don't really do this with veggies even though I love veggies on my pizza I don't ever put veggies in garbage bread when I think of garbage bread I think of meat cheese and bread and all the carbs and the fats and the ooey gooey goodness that is not good for you at all, but tastes fantastic. So this again is great for special occasions, for appetizers, for game nights, for having company over. It is just a great quick thing that you can throw together, especially if you're not doing any slicing and dicing. And then you just roll this all up and put it in the oven and one of the things I like about using the slices is that I get paranoid that things aren't fully cooked. And when I do it with the diced up way, 
the provolone cheese can remind me of the raw dough and so I get concerned that it's chunks of dough when in reality it's provolone cheese. So I did not want to heat up my entire kitchen. As I mentioned, it is hot here. For reference, when I got home from work, I took my socks off, which is always the first thing I do when I get home. And when I stepped on my floor, it felt like I was on the concrete at a pool. I felt like I was about to go swimming, except there was no water. So you can see I have just pulled this out of the oven and it is perfectly brown on the bottom. You can do an egg wash on the top and make it a nice golden brown, but I don't feel the need to do that. And then this cooked perfectly. I did mine 375 for 30 minutes and this is how it turned out. It was gorgeous and fully cooked and cheesy. And I definitely hope y'all will give this a try as well as check out the playlist link down below since this was part of a carb collab. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some inspiration for maybe some party food, an appetizer, or just a weeknight meal the way I had it. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.